All right, everybody. I want to talk about one thing here. Setting expectations. So in one of the last videos, I talked something about an employment mishap or I don't even remember to be honest with you, but uh, no, I, I think we have to set expectations for our employees and we have to be communicative about it. We have to set those expectations right away and we can't, one of the big issues that, that something that I've done and something that I'd see not only in small businesses and medium business and large businesses is people say, well, you'll just see how I work and then you'll emulate that. Well, that's just not how things are. You might think you're doing something that is common sense and it's not even something to do with your, you know, your skill set, your job, uh, things like, I don't know, putting the toilet seat down, letting somebody know when you're out of something or taking the garbage out and not putting in a new liner. Um, you know, those are expectations that I, I think we need to set and we need to be open about. Um, you know, one of the things that really irks me is when people leave lights on or equipment on um, over a weekend or overnight. It's, you know, you may not think that you know, that, that adds up, but it, it does. And if your employee is doing something that you might have an end of the day checklist that they're not doing, well, what else aren't they doing? Are they not selling the proper, um, products and services? Are they, you know, telling people that they hate their job? Are they, you know, not doing basic things? It's what else aren't they doing? So set those expectations and don't think of it as a, okay, this job is a minimum wage job or it's just over minimum wage, so they're not going to want to do it, so I'm going to do it. No, that's they work for you, and you need to set those expectations. It's not, it's not going to cause them to quit. And if it does, it does. You'll find somebody else. You know, at the end of the day, a lot of people talk about people don't want to work, and that's just not true. It's, it's not. People want to work. It's just people don't want shit jobs. No, I'm not going to bleep that out. People don't want jobs that are paying $10, $11, 12 an hour because a lot of those people are abused. So keep that in mind, too, when you set those expectations. Make sure those expectations that you're setting are real expectations and things that they can meet. And by that, I mean don't set the expectation that, hey, you're going to work 60, 70 hours a week. Set the expectation. If you plan on bringing somebody in, maybe you're going to start them off 40 hours a week for the first couple months until they get things down, and then you're going to wean them back. Set that expectation. That way, if it's somebody that needs a full-time job or that needs that income, then they can go out and say, okay, well, I have time over the next couple months to look for another part-time gig, and so here we go. Um, and that's the expectation I set with my guy. I never set a time frame on when he will. Um, but we're going to get to that point. And, and that's going to be a conversation that I'm going to have with him is, okay, you've got the policies and procedures down. So probably here soon, you're going to go down to, I say probably here soon, but there'll be an exact date for him. So just don't be afraid that somebody's going to walk out. Don't let your employees walk all over you. Conversely, if you are an employee watching this, don't let your employer walk all over you either because that's something that, you know, this it's not a fine line. It's setting the real expectations and and setting boundaries as an employee too, right? So, you know, as an employer, I don't expect my guy to work you know, 40 hours a week, you know, we are only open 10 to five, but I don't expect him to work any more than that. And if he has to, he's going to get paid for it. Yes, he's hourly, but even if he was salary, he's going to get a little extra bonus on his paycheck. And it's not because I'm a nice guy that I do that. It's because he's working and it's a business decision to work, right? You're not going to, as an employee, you're not going to sit in a place if you're not getting paid. So, Set the right expectations, have the conversations,
don't be afraid to have those conversations because realistically you need confrontation in any relationship you need to be able to bounce back you need to be able to say hey you're doing a shit job here's how we can do it better or hey boss I don't like the way you're doing things let's get here's some advice here's something I've seen before don't be afraid to do that if you're an employee what's the worst thing you're gonna do get fired sorry plenty of jobs out there don't be afraid employers don't be afraid have that conversation that's what I'm gonna leave you with this week so guys I hope you have a great week I hope this helps somebody um, and uh, hopefully I'll have another good video for you soon